It's easy to see why Blue Monday is the least upbeat day of the year. It's cold, you're back at work, blah, and all of the festive fun of Christmas <laughs> is suddenly a distant memory. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we've got you covered. Happiness researcher Jillian Mandich joins us with some easy ways to add lightness and positivity to today and every day. And we have the 19th dog of the show <laughs> appearing. Julie, great to see you. Who do we got? This is Chaco. Chaco. Chaco, say hi. Chaco is easily distracted, <laughs> but adorable. That's great. It's great to have you both in. Um, is today really the most depressing day of the year? Because I hear conflicting things. What, what, how would you answer that? No. So there is not one day that statistically is sadder or bluer than any other day. But what we do see is that this time of year, moods are lower. We do see a general dip, seasonal affective disorder. A lot of people are experiencing that, low mood, low energy. Very common, especially in the depths of winter, which we're in right now. Absolutely. Um, so what are the strategies that viewers can use to cope with a moment, if not today specifically, mm -hmm. but you know, January in general, it can be tough on a lot yeah. of people. Mm -hmm. what, what would you suggest? Absolutely. So one of the things is, you know, we want to often hibernate at this time of year, but really important to get outside and get sunlight whenever possible. Um, because what happens is the light regulates our circadian rhythm. That's our sleep-wake cycle. And so making sure, even if we're inside, maybe letting the uh, windows open, getting outside, walking your pets, whatever you need to do. And then another really big one is making sure we're getting sleep. You know, we mm. all know what it's like to wake up after a great sleep and what it's like to not. So really practicing good sleep hygiene, trying to set yourself up for good sleep. So winding down at the end of the day, not being on our screens right before bed, things like that, <laughs> easier right? Easier said than done sometimes. <laughs> Much easier said yes. than done. Uh, and another thing is just starting to notice what we pay attention to because our attention and what we notice affects how we feel and what we're thinking about. So are we focused really on what's going wrong or are we starting to notice some of the good that we do have uh, is really important. And then another one is moving our body. You know, it's we hear it, we a lot of people are gung-ho about movement at the beginning of the year, but the reason is it's so important, especially for our mood, even 10 minutes of exercise can have happiness boosting effects that can last for six to eight hours. So really important, whatever it is, getting outside, taking your dog for a walk, uh, those sort of things is so important. Now, just even the concept of happiness is something we're all trying to maintain on a good day. And especially now with a, a deeper awareness of things like self-care, mm -hmm. we're constantly trying to go for it. But sometimes it's just... Sometimes it's hard. Absolutely. You know, and, and I'm a happiness researcher. Mm -hmm. So I study this and I, I, it's important to know that we can't be happy all the time. Yeah. You know, so really, I'm not happy all the time and I study this, but the reason is that in terms of healthy psychological functioning, we're humans and we have a full spectrum of emotions and feelings. And so recognizing that it isn't about being happy all of the time, but we can do small things, bursts of joy to help brighten our day. You know, little things here and there, we may think that they're small, but you know what it's like when someone does something nice for you or something good happens and it kind of puts a little more pep in your step. So we can do things to be happier, but we cannot be happy all the time. Now, speaking of not being happy all the time, the pandemic. Mm. What did the pandemic teach us about happiness? Yeah, you know, it's interesting because I was researching happiness before, during, and now after the pandemic and talking to a lot of people. And one of the things that I've noticed is when I ask people what makes you happy, before the pandemic, I would hear things like, oh, the trip I just went on, you know, my big birthday party I had. And now when I'm asking people what makes you happy, I'm hearing things like giving my mom a hug, you know, going for a walk with it my It really friend. has changed, yeah. hasn't it? We, a lot of those things that we took for granted, um, we're appreciating now at a different level because we realize that, wow, there actually was some really great things in my life that I just didn't notice or didn't give my attention to, right? Which is why it's really important to notice what we're noticing. No doubt. Um, small, you, you, you alluded to it. Small acts of kindness, yeah. they can have a big impact, right? They really can. And when I say small, I don't mean impact. I mean in terms of effort or time. It's taking those couple minutes to send an email to somebody. It's, you know, doing that small little thing, telling someone if someone did something nice for you, how thankful or appreciative you are. It's really, you know, helping a neighbor who needs groceries, those small things. And if we can do things that are outside of our regular routine, it can have an even bigger impact for us. I think another really important thing is give compliments. Yes. Don't be afraid to give them out. You never know what a kind word will do to someone's day. And it's the easiest thing you can do 
on a personal level. And it doesn't cost anything. Not right? at all. It doesn't take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. But you know, we always like when someone says something nice or recognizes us for something that we did or yeah. that we said. And so we can do those. The person that we give a compliment to gets a boost in their happiness. But what we know from research is that we do too. And so, you know, those small things, right, in terms of effort and time, but really it can change a person's day. That can be the thing yeah. that really starts to shift their mood that day. Uh, Jillian, good stuff. Where can we find more info? Uh, JillianMandage.com.